it is the 21st and it is my I'm still 25 weeks um, tomorrow is actually my last day of being 25 weeks which I'm very very excited about because cannot wait to turn 26 weeks the close the the every time i turn a week i know that i'm closer and closer to having baby girl and i'm very excited about that but um i did tell you guys that i was gonna have you guys come along with me to get her stuff just like the last minute stuff that i gotta get for her which isn't too much um i would have brought you guys out yesterday because i did say that i was going to go through all of junior stuff in his store in his storage and when I tell you this boy had a lot of stuff, this boy had a lot of stuff. Like, I think in the end, after I went through everything, I had three bags that I, of stuff that I was keeping, three garbage bags of stuff that I was keeping, and I have four bags of stuff that I'm giving away, which is a lot. That's, that's, that's a lot. The nesting struggle for me is so real right now. Like, I'm just sitting here like itching like you ever you ever wanted to do something so bad but like you just you you know that you have to wait to do it but you sitting here like all right the time's almost here where I can do what I want to do and 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 you know you're just gonna go ham that's how I feel right now like I've been waiting and waiting and waiting to get her stuff to the point where I'm like I'm about to go into full nesting mode and I kind of feel like everything has been going so fast like I'm popping faster I felt her faster popping into my belly popped faster um I I felt her sooner and now I'm like with how many weeks that I am I'm sitting here like yo I know nesting when I when I know nesting and I'm about to explode because it's almost time for me to, to, to start getting her stuff. And I'm straight up like, I want to clean the fizz up out of this house. Like everything has to be clean, everything. And with Junior, I didn't get like this until like probably 35 weeks. I didn't get, yeah, I didn't get to nesting mode until about 35 weeks. And which is normal but I'm just I'm just so ready I'm so ready for everything and with junior I would like it got to the point where I was so bored because everything was clean it was just me and Christian that I was literally like washing rewashing junior's, junior's newborn clothes like five six times before he was born so now I'm to the point where I'm like I know when I get her stuff everything's gonna be clean everything absolutely everything once like i'm gonna go straight up crazy like oh my god <laughs> uh, what's going on guys so y'all can tell you guys are in a cabinet <laughs> let me turn that off it should be off momentarily but you guys are in a cabinet and the lighting is horrible so I wanted to uh, update you guys on what's been going on because it's been about a day or two since I picked up the camera from the last scene or clip that you guys saw. And if you're wondering why I'm looking down a lot, it's because I am about to clean my breast pumps. I decided to go ahead and keep them just to save a little bit more money um you know anything i can do to save some coin that's good but anyway so what's been going on yesterday um i went ahead and i, I all those clothes that were in storage went ahead and um got rid of those little puppies I went and gave the stuff to, um, what's that place called? To Once Upon a Child. That's okay. And I had no idea that they don't take, um, Once Upon a Child doesn't take car seats. 
in diaper bags. I have no idea. So I was like, oh, that's fantastic. Hey, like my um, Once Upon a Child here, they stay packed up with new clothes. Like stay packed up. So we walk in there and I see a Mamaru. A Mamaru like swing. And I'm like, oh my God, I want that so bad. It's like the high tech one, like the brand new high tech one. I want it so bad. But that thing is like over a hundred dollars, y'all. And I'm sitting here like, as much as I would love to have a four mom swing, it's really not worth it. It's not worth it. Because most of the stuff for her um, is like hand-me-down, you know, secondhand stuff because junior the first time around okay like you know first time around you're like oh they have to have everything brand new everything has to be perfect blah, blah, blah. second time around you're like uh, you know what i mean like not not in a bad way but you're just kind of like okay like as long as my baby has everything the essentials that she needs i don't care if it's second hand i don't care if it's hand me down as long as they have what they need you know what i mean so and and of course you know me being mommy i'm gonna sanitize it i'm gonna clean it to my standards and with babies those are pretty fucking high standards i have to order a universal um a universal stroller which i found for like 40 something bucks which is amazing because some universal strollers are very, very expensive. And I can get my universal stroller from Target. <laughs> Go figure. Um, what else? Yeah, just, just, I, I kind of feel like this time around, things are a lot cheaper. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, I'm not breaking my back like now my I set my standards really high around this time just because you know I really wanted to really go all out this time but when reality hit reality being my husband I I kind of had to lower my standards and sometimes that sucks sometimes that does suck but really she doesn't need that much and we have a lot of the stuff that junior had because we didn't throw it out because we knew maybe one day we might have a second child and we were like okay if it's a boy we really don't have to shop for anything for real but this one's a girl so we still don't have to shop for anything for real um which we are blessed with so that's why i say you know this time it's, it's a lot cheaper it's a lot cheaper with her now i'm not saying that we didn't have help because we did my mom helped out a lot um his um family helped out a lot especially with like clothes and stuff because she has a lot of clothes um so i'm 26 weeks today 26 so that means after this week next friday i will be 27 weeks and i'll be starting my third trimester next week shit gets real <laughs> and i know everybody's like what do you mean it should have been real when you saw your belly was getting bigger and it should have been real when you know she was kicking but no next week is like the real deal it's like okay like this is it there's no turning back you have three months to get your shit together to get everything together I have 14 weeks if I reach my due date, which I'm pretty sure I'm not going to reach my due date. So 12 or 13 weeks tops, that's that's how much I have left, 12 to 13 weeks tops. I'm nervous guys, I'm nervous. And the reason why I'm nervous is because do I look like a girl mom? No, I'm not a girl mom. The reason why I say I'm not a girl mom is because it's always been me, Christian, Junior. I've 
I've always been a boy mom. Now I'm about to be a boy and a girl mom. That is fucking nerve wracking. Now, everybody pretty much, you know, when they have a girl like, oh, yay, little princess, la la la. I'm not thinking about it like that. I'm thinking about it like, think about, okay, yeah, she's, she's little princess, she's little doll, you know, yeah, cool. But that stage is only temporary. At the end of the day, I have to raise this little girl to be a queen, to be treated like a queen, to be talked to like a queen, to act like a queen. I have to teach her about boys, about sex, about pregnancy, about protection, about periods, about mother nature. I have to teach her all that. I have to teach her how to pee sitting down, how to wipe herself. How to, how to always keep her feminine hygiene like up and intact. And, and I have to teach her what's appropriate for a young lady, what's not appropriate for a young lady, how, how a young lady should act, how she should talk, how she should walk, how she should sit, how I have to teach her all that. On top of learning how to do hair. Cause does it look like I know how to do hair? Watch, wa go back and see, go back and watch all these vlogs. My hair is majority, majority of the time like this. Natural seat like this. It is rare that I straighten my hair. Okay, it is very, very rare that I straighten my hair. Other than that, no, my hair really isn't done like that. So I have to learn how to do hair. I know how to take care of hair. I took care of my son's hair. And that, it y'all saw, it grew beautifully. I don't take care of my son's hair anymore. My husband does. So I, I know that, but having a little girl is a whole new creature. Now don't get me wrong. I am beyond excited about having a little girl. My family, especially my mom, is very excited because again, my mom only has two grandkids son and my soon-to-be daughter they're only for me <sighs> christian's mom christian family she has a whole bunch of grandkids boys and girls this is the first for me and christian so of course you know it's not the first girl that i've had to watch and change and all that but this is the first girl that i am raising let me rephrase this. This is a that we are raising. Me and Christian are raising together. This is our child, our daughter, someone that we created, someone that we are that we said, okay, we're gonna we're, we're doing this. This this little girl is coming into our home, and we have to take care of her. We are responsible for her. That right there, is scary. Because I already know she's gonna have Christian wrapped around her little finger. And that's fine. Christian's already overprotective of her when it comes to what she's wearing, what she's gonna wear. Already, the first outfit, I showed y'all the first outfit in the um in the baby clothing haul. First outfit, what was it? A onesie, a sleeper, covered up. She's completely covered up. So like I already know he is going to be completely overprotective of her. I already know. Because that's his little that's his little girl. That's his little girl. This is I'm so scared. And on top of that, back to the whole um doing hair thing, we decided, me and, me and my husband decided that we are going to keep her hair natural. Keep them curls. Because I have, cur my, my roots are curly. Junior, y'all saw his hair. He had really, really pretty curly hair. Really, really pretty tight spiral curls. And my husband has curly hair. Naturally curly hair. His hair is naturally curly. So we already know that she's gonna have very pretty curly, very pretty, pretty, pretty curls. And we want to keep those. I have to learn how to deal with natural hair again. I have not done natural hair since my son was one before we cut it. 
I'll say that. I have not done natural hair. Now, I know natural hair is a lot of hair products, a lot of work. I know. And I'm sitting here and trying to find the best hair products, the best hair care routine I can for her, the way I can get into a rhythm. Something else that I'm kind of like, uh, about is I know I'm going to breastfeed. That's definite, like without a doubt, I am breastfeeding. I want to, I want to, I want to do that. I want to do that. With my son, I breastfed for a month and then stopped and I regretted it. I missed breastfeeding my son and I wish I would have done it longer. With her, I have a second chance to do that and I'm going to do it longer. I want to do it six months to a year tops, even if that means that I'm not breast, even if that means that I'm breastfeeding her from the boob and giving her a bottle, you know, like I still want her to have, to have breast, to drink breast milk for at least a year. And then after that, you know, by that time she can go to milk and juice and all that, but at least a year, that's my goal. I'm excited, but I'm scared. But I know at the end of the day, it's going to be worth it because I know that I'm going to have two beautiful, healthy children. I'm going to have a beautiful, healthy family. See this belly? Woo! They're right here. This, this shirt is kind of restricting, so there we go. 26 week belly. What's going on guys? So I went kind of crazy yesterday. Please excuse the mess. My house is a mess. I am on full nesting mode right now and I'm about to clean the crap out of my house. But um, like I was saying, um, I went kind of crazy yesterday. Once upon upon a child and I got like 40 something things for baby girl and um oh <laughs> um like they, they are so everything is so so cute so my husband um we're kind of splitting up jobs his jobs are to get diapers and wipes and he's going to get my um breastfeeding stuff which I'm so thankful for him I love him so much he volunteered to get the breastfeeding stuff but like I was saying I kind of went a little crazy a little crazy um at once upon a child but yeah I kind of went a little crazy um so I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I got for mamas and one of my daycare moms, um, I used to babysit her child. She actually came by yesterday while we were gone and she dropped off some stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys that too. And I also need to get her bassinet out of storage, but it's been raining here for like, oh my God, I feel like it's, it's literally been raining for about two weeks straight. Anyway. So everything that I got for Marie, I will let you guys know her middle name. Her middle name is Marie. Everything I got for Marie is pretty much some newborn, not a lot, some newborn, some zero to three, some three to six, some six to nine. So we're good for a while and then i have some i have a lot of bags of genius clothes so we she should be good on clothes for a while like we really shouldn't have to get anything if we do want to get something we can but we should be good on clothes that was one thing that i really really wanted to drill is that we need to be completely good on clothes now she doesn't have any shoes she does have shoes she has her brother's shoes she has like three pairs of shoes that are all like sneakers so we should be good on that too but anyway so I have right here, this is, put you guys down. So of course, if you guys don't know what this is, this is a swaddle, absolutely loved swaddles. When it came to Junior, 
he fell asleep in them things so much. So I have this one. I have this beautiful fluffy one. I love this one so much. It's so cute and it's so soft. This one I'm actually gonna bring to the hospital. Um, but this one I'm actually gonna bring to the hospital. She's gonna wear this one. And um, let me see, let me see, let me see. I have a little sleeper sack one. Like I told you guys for her theme is elephants. So anything with elephants on it, I definitely want. I haven't gotten a color scheme for her room yet, but I have a little sleeper sack, which um, this is actually going to be zero to nine months, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna have her wear this when she's older. And this is the pink one. It looks exactly like the um, purple one. So these are the sleep sacks little sleepers and then this right here I am in love with these I love these so much I, I kept the two that junior had because they're kind of gen gender neutral colors but I love these so much so I got a whole bunch of these this one is size 0 to 3 which I love um, I think this is one. Yeah, this is another one. This is size zero to six months. You're welcome. This is size zero to six months. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I have this one right here. And this is size uh, zero to six months as well. Uh, I'm just gonna go through. This came with the set. I just have to find the shirt to it. But I have this right here, and this is size nine months. And then I also found this. Oh my gosh! When I found, it, I was like, this is so cute and it's gonna be perfect for like cr the winter time and christmas it is so cute and i have some pants to go with it as well and speaking of pants i have these little pants right here and this um is size let me see if i can find the size for y'all um six to nine months so these are six to nine months i have this beautiful onesie right here and this is three to six months which I love this onesie and then I found some jeggings for princess found some jeggings for Marie and this is six to nine months as well oh focus there you go these six to nine month jeggings um I found up oh, see I found another one another one of those um I don't even know what you call these I'll, I'll put it on the screen somewhere what you actually call these and of course like I said her theme is elephants so anything with elephants on it I definitely got zero to three months I have a sleeper I love the zip up sleepers zip up sleepers are absolute heaven because they're just zip ups and down done the button ones I've learned from um, this is three to six months now some of the stuff there I actually got brand new this was brand new so had the tags on it and it says daddy's princess this is zero to three months i was so happy when i found this i actually have another one that was that's also um that was also brand new uh, which i'm gonna show you guys this is says lovable like mommy and it is it's a button up but it's okay and doesn't have feet but it was really really cute and i really really like that and this is nine months and then I think this is one of the newborn outfits. This is number one little sister because she is a little sister. Yep, this is a newborn and it's a onesie. And this is another newborn onesie. You can never have enough white onesies even though you know they don't last long. But this is also newborn and it comes with the sleeves that fold. Which um, we're gonna need because I don't know if we're gonna when we're gonna get mittens and stuff like that. Hopefully we don't get them late. Now this is something that I love too, and I told my husband I saw this on Amazon. I think they sell this on Amazon as well. Cause I think I've seen this on Amazon, but they do sell this in Target because it is Target brand Cat and Jack, and this is three to six months, and I love this. <laughs> I absolutely love this. Of the color of it, and then I also got these. Um, what are these these three to six month gray pants and I got these because of the 
hint of the uh, little fringe, I guess this was not fringe, of just the way that they are right here and then the bow. And then, oh, I found another one. Flowers, not elephants, but still the things that I love. And this is one size, um, so I'm thinking this might fit her maybe three to six, we'll see. Okay, what else is on here? So this is a six to nine month long sleeve onesie because by the time she's like nine months, it's gonna start getting cold. Well, by the time she's six months, it's gonna start getting cold too. So I need to get her some long sleeve ones. Another onesie, um, and this is three months. I got this one for Christian because when it came to junior stuff, there wasn't a whole bunch of, of, of mommy this, mommy that. There was a lot of daddy stuff. So this is daddy's little, daddy's cutie. And it is a button. I know it's buttoned, but it'll be okay. And it has a little tiger right here. And then I saw this and I was like, oh, this is cute. And then I saw how big it was. I was like, okay, I'm getting it. Um, this is six to nine months. And I was like, okay, yes, I am getting that. And it's Hello Kitty, of course. Rainbow Hello Kitty. And then this is another newborn outfit. And this is, um, I really liked the design on it. I don't know what it was. It was something about the design that was screaming at me. So I was like, okay, I need to get that. And this is, um, the other brand new, excuse me, the brand new outfit that was there. Tags on it, everything. And I got this for cheap. It was originally like $3.99. I got it for like a dollar and some change, like a dollar fifty. And this is six to nine months. <clears throat> Got another pair of pants that are three to six months. And this has a little frillies on the back. Who doesn't love little frillies on the back for the girls? Any design on the butt for babies, people just love and hey. Um, this is nine months and this has little feet with a little bow on it. And these are pants. And then for Halloween, because I got Junior's Halloween outfit pretty early, so I wanted to do the same thing for her. I got her this little um, sleeper and it's just a skeleton and this is three to six months and then I got some more pants with these are newborn no these are three to six months as well they just pink pants um, and they actually go with this which is also three to six months because by the time Christmas and uh, Christmas and that rolls around she should be around that age and it just says Santa babe with a little bow on it and then here is another onesie um, which I could actually flip this this is another Target brand with um, Cat and Jack and this is six to nine months and I got these pants these pants I can actually put with three outfits so I'm actually gonna show you I could put it with this and this this and this together and this is six months or I can put it with this shirt, which this is the nine months um, onesie, which I might not, I might have to get her some more, but we'll see. Um, this is a nine month onesie, it says you're a star. And with it, I put this cute skirt. And of course, you guys know my husband. It could have a skirt, but it's gotta have pants under it. So we'll see how that works together. And then I also have this nine month outfit, which has butterflies all over it. And on the camera showing that it's pink, but it's actually, uh, it's kind of like a washed out pink, more like faded the white. So <clears throat> we'll see how that does in the washer. I found another one of these little baby doll sleeper things. I still don't know the name of them. I'll put it up there. But another one of these little babies, and this one is zero to three months. And of course, I got some more jeggings, <laughs> and this is six months. And then I got this one, this onesie as well for Christian, and it says Daddy's Princess, and of course, elephants. So of course, I was not skipping out on that. And the last outfit I got for Marie. This is Daddy's Little Cupcake, and this is three months, which I can also put with the blue pants. And then, um, because we have two car seats, I got a car seat cover. 
I got a car seat cover and it has um, a zebra right here. It has a little bit of zebra print. It's pink and it's reversible. So the inside is just pink, which I love these things. I actually have one for Junior. They were awesome. And um, oh yeah, I have to show you guys. Ugh. Oh, Lord. I have to show you guys what one of my babysitting mommies dropped off. Um, of course, I think you guys should know by now. No, I'm not babysitting anymore. Um, one of them got out of the military and the other one is getting out of the military. So I'm not babysitting anymore. But so she dropped off these socks. If you can't tell, they're numbers. They are, um, where is it at? They are 0 to 12 month socks. So they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 1. So these are so cute. They're so cute. And then she also got me, which I was not expecting this. She got me this. And I was like, oh my God, I was not expecting this at all. And it's so, so adorable. I, oh my gosh, it's so cute. And then I have, that's her stuff, that's her stuff. Those are her bows. That is her stuff, that is her stuff, that is her stuff. The stuff in bags is all the stuff that I kept from Junior that are unisex or that she could, or that I could pass off as female stuff which is all of that. Please don't mind this room. Junior's been in here tearing stuff up, but it's still all of that. I have car seat stuff right there that I need to put on this car seat, which should be her main car seat, but I have to wipe it down still because it's been in storage forever. I have to go and clean that, which is hard for me to, to get, it's hard for me to clean it, just because of these right here. These won't go through this for some strange reason. That way I can clean it. So I have to kind of work out the kinks for that. I still have her mirror and stuff like that. And then I have to also like scrub stuff. So that's what's going on there. So I really don't have that much stuff, to, but I'm hungry. I just woke up, I have stuff to clean. I need to do it now because me knowing me, when that thing starts kicking in, I am serious about everything. And my husband has been so supportive and so amazing through it all because he knows how crazy I can get when it comes to nesting, even though I haven't done this in like three years. I just, I told him once I start getting stuff for her, my nesting itch is like gonna be kicking in full effect and it has. So I'm gonna go ahead and go. I'll talk to you guys later.